the Chad and Tyrone that got her pregnant mm -hmm. or the guy that didn't care about her that she throws herself at, he spent no money. So why should you spend money and not even get the same? 100%. Chad and Tyrone didn't do that, but they blew her back out differently, my guy. So why are you going to be that guy that spends your hard-earned money on someone that just gave their pum pum free to next brothers out in the roads like it was a happy day or something yo what's good my people it's your host Rubel Zaman and I'm back today I'm going to be diving into more red pill content and we're going to be discussing and analyzing these subjects now me personally I constantly talk about this these kinds of things on a daily basis when I come across people because People always want to come to the perspective of the the beta male coming with this blue pill energy and stuff like that. So I have to always let people know that, or especially mandem who go through situations not understanding women's nature and then wonder to themselves whenever, whenever I'm talking to them that, rah, how come she's doing this and that or... You know, how come is man's getting treated like some sideman kind of thing? So I always, like if you guys follow me on my Snapchat, I've always been talking about this kind of stuff. So I'm going to be diving into a lot more of this content, but now I'm going to be doing it on the YouTube channel itself so you guys can watch full length videos. Also, you guys, make sure you go check out Asian Girl Reacts. That's where I get an Asian girl to react to red pill content as well. And seeing from a woman's perspective, does she agree with the things that go on in today's society and how woman nature is and the stuff that women are saying these days does she agree with it so make sure you guys go check that out i'll leave the link to that in the description box below but nonetheless this one is going to be anthony spade woman gets mad when the guy she dating refuses to pay for her kids mcdonald's meal now just by the title there's so much that i can say from it but i'm gonna hear what anthony spade's got to say about this first and then i'm gonna um give my opinions whilst react whilst watching what he's got to say and stuff like that so we're going to get down and dissect and have a proper discussion you know what i'm saying let's educate each other and let's make sure that us men elevate ourselves to a level of prestigious that that we are bearing ourselves not for anyone else but for ourselves so that we can be the best version of us and then we can achieve and obtain whatever we want in this life you gotta make sure that you're on your purpose all right but without further ado let's get straight into this make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and yeah let's go look it was at that moment that i knew you were never getting this because he ain't paid for your daughter pool. today i will be reacting to a video wait just from the start just from that brief start right did she just say that because you didn't pay for my daughter's mcdonald's meal that's why you're not getting the pump fam just leave him i'm bond that girl of a woman who says she would not give a man any play Unless he buys her kids McDonald's. So okay, welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video. But first, watch the entire video. Next, I would not be talking about all women. It just feels like it. Okay, today I'm going to be reacting to a video of a woman who claims that she would not give a man any play unless he buys her kids McDonald's. All right, this is what I want to say to a lot of you guys out there, all right? A lot of you guys put baby moms on a pedestal as well because a lot of you come from single mothers, so you have a natural attraction to these type of women. This is going to be your downfall in life. I'm letting... 100% I already agree with that statement that he just made right there now, that's a major problem now like I'm gonna let you guys know that if you're an alpha man or a sigma man right and you got that energy you know the knowledge you hold all of that and the way that you see life your perspective is at a strong angle you're not a weak person you're a wolf you're a lion you got all of these kind of traits inside you I'll be real with you and if you're on your purpose that you as a man, right, would never ever go for a baby mom. This is just facts. Because that's a beta male move straight up there. Why are you going to go for a baby mom? Her child is never going to... You're never going to have full access to her child. You can never ever discipline her child the way that you can if you had a child with her. You see the difference? So this is something that is very important to understand. And 100% agree with Anthony Spade there that... 
it's it's a <laughs> that's the downfall. That's the that's what majority of men these days go through and they're going through struggles and constantly moaning about the situation but because they made that decision to go with the baby mom these are the consequences remember whatever you decide to do in life there's always a plus to it and a negative but in this situation there's always going to be a negative if you're a man on your purpose why are you going to go for a woman that is not single from the start always equate it to how you are as a person right if you're single then exp- then you should have that expectation to yourself that I'm going to go for someone who is single as well. Why are you, as a single person, going to go for someone that has been taken and been done up by another Don? It makes no sense. He's energies with us, period. And you know that right now. Because most guys who are raised by single mothers, your mother has taught you to be a guy that other girls do not want. Understand that. The way you treat your mom you're supposed to treat a woman like that but most women that you're going to chase are going to be just like your mom and they're not going to recognize what you are especially in the african-american community this is why a lot of you guys you go over to other race of women and it feels like a a fresher breath air you take a man who has a, 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 a a feminist mom the first thing he's going to do is date a white woman because when he dates a white woman, it's going to feel so much better. Everything that your mom taught you to be as a man actually works on white women, right? It works on Spanish women. You could be nice. You could be a little baby, but it doesn't work at all when it comes to African-American women. That's what most of you guys fail. But when it comes to these baby mothers, I always tell dudes, baby mothers are typically just good friends for the weekend once or twice a month. You're not supposed to be trying to be the king of that castle at all, Mm -hmm. right? And this is a prime example of that in this video. It's because no matter how many kids women have in the African-American community, they still feel privileged. Only a woman with five or six kids is walking around single, proud to be single, thinking she could still date Drake. This is a delusion that has to be broken. But as long as there's the internet, it's only going to get worse. All right. 100%. Let's get to the review. From a man's perspective, tell me if this is just way out of pocket. And this is why we talking prenuptials and shit. On the first date, I had to get my daughter something to eat before he took me out. So I was like, can you run me by the McDonald's real quick? Because I'm running behind. Woo-woo. We get to McDonald's. All she got was her classic, a milkshake, four piece nugget, and a small fry. When the when the lady at the window asked for the bread, she's like, "Where's that?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you said run me through yeah. McDonald's real quick so we can. Yeah, nigga, you gonna pay for it. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, I think that's the. Okay, I absolutely agree with him. If you take a woman somewhere for her child and she claims she was gonna buy stuff and she had to take care of this, she's responsible for paying for the child, especially if it's just a date. I do not want you guys mm-hmm. to get caught up into thinking. That, a, that you're supposed to take care of a woman and her kids and have her pressuring you to be at unless you're in, <clears throat> and have you pressuring to pay for her kids to prove that you're a real man don't do that listen that whole nonsense yeah that needs to go out the window like any of you men that believe in that anyone that says that you're not a real man because you're not doing what she wanted that brother to do listen that's absolute nonsense that's her job that's not your priority. This is what I will say to you, man, right? That's another man's woman. Do you understand? She's already been dug out. She's already had a child with that. So you have to understand that if you are that high quality man, that top level man, you're not going to deal with any of this nonsense. Any time that nonsense comes, you're gone. You make it very clear. Do you understand what I'm saying? And this is what a lot of brothers don't don't deep. And then they get trapped into this system where now these gal make you feel like, rah, you ain't a real man. You're some joke man kind of thing. But in the real perspective, it's not you being a joke man. It's just you being smart. Because why are you going to put yourself in a hindrance when you don't have to? When you can easily go out there and put yourself in a position where it's a lot more beneficial for your sake. As well as that is going to allow you to have create your own family from scratch which i would always say to every one of you man out there and even you women that haven't been run up to do that and stay with that person this whole playing around stuff yeah it's not 
the one and in the long term it's not leading anyone to a place where they can realistically be happy do you know what i'm saying but yeah definitely agree with what anthony's saying here whenever a woman tries to make you prove yourself by doing something financially it's always a lie because the the the, the chad and tyrone that got her pregnant mm -hmm. or the guy that didn't care about her that she throws herself at he spent no money so why should you spend money and not even get the same 100 percent. chad and tyrone didn't do that but they blew her back out differently my guy so why are you going to be that guy that spends your hard-earned money on someone that just gave their pum pum free to next brothers out in the roads like it was some happy day or something do you know what i'm saying like look at it from that angle don't lower yourself for anyone remember you become the boss you become someone worthy have the status have the fame have the money become that top done and i tell you right now my brother you can get you can have any any one of these girls but first put that time and effort and investment into yourself before you get distracted by any of these women because i tell you right now the most successful people are not getting distracted at all they're focusing on what they need to do and once they get to that point then them brothers can do whatever they want so really deep what really deep what you have to do as a man do you know what i mean it's not don't get distracted a lot of brothers out here get distracted and that's why it's a whole mess out here and results that he's gonna get for free most baby moms, to be honest with you, they're just easy pussy. Already, right that now. was the first problem. No problem. I was at that moment. That's your problem. Look, and it was at that <laughs> moment. Now, I had the you bread. Pay for the and I even asked him, did he want anything? But look, it was at that moment that I knew you were never getting this pussy. <laughs> because he ain't paid for your daughter, fool. Fuck you on the first okay, date. Okay, so honestly, honestly, I ain't gonna lie to you. My boss one year knew I was having a sleepover for my daughter. He was like, oh, that's what you know. I ordered her pizza. That's why most of the relationships they cheat on. But like, that's no. why you guys ever notice I never did any debates with black women or women in general? All right, there's a reason for that. Why I don't do debates, why I don't do collaborations, and why I don't do these things, especially when it comes to women. I personally feel like when you're discussing relationships, talking to black women is a waste of time. And the reason why is because they do not have a history of being wives. They don't have a history of being girlfriends for long periods of time. The black community only got worse as time evolved. So there's no reason of arguing with them when they have not been properly trained to be in a relationship. So their souls are always for sale because they're always in survival mode, which is why when they gain money, they gain success. They go back and date the black guy that's on the lowest of the totem pole, the guy that has no money because it's easier for them to control. I'm just letting guys know out there these type of debates that we're that we're that we're doing reaction videos on. You ever notice it's always just black and, and, and black men and black women majority of the time in the dating world. And the reason for that is because other race of people outgrow that face. Your average Chinese, Arab, um, white. By the time they're 30 years old, you don't see too many of them single walking around. In your 20s, you're going to see it, and you're going to think everyone's going to be like that forever. But in the 30s now, they still have the least amount of people that are actually single. Like most relationships, they cheat on you with somebody at work because of shit like that. No, no, I'm going to pay for the daughter. Yeah, I'm going to pay for all that. And I'm pretty sure you want some young pussy. What do you mean? you were paying for it. I'm going to tell you, I was single at the time, but I'm going to tell you what it is. No, I'm just saying how to tell you. I will fuck your boss up. All right, now for the future, when it comes to baby moms, listen here, guys. If you're going to deal with a baby mom, you want to date her for a year. You don't need to meet the kid and you don't need to meet the baby father. And the only time you're going to spend money is if it's just you and her. But Exactly. This is what I'm telling you, man. You don't need to do any of the unnecessary things. And just going back to what he said just before that clip ended about other, race, other races grow out of that um, nonsense. That is very true. Um, like in my culture, we specifically, we we we're very strict when it comes to relationships and when it comes to marriages. So we make sure that, like for example, the the woman from the get go, in my home country, they they get trained straight away to learn how to become the housewife, learn how to be that submissive girl because they know that is what ultimately is going to get her the marriage. 
um, and then the man to be that on his purpose become the boss become that legendary person that people can respect when you marry that woman she can look at look at you and adore you and have so much respect for you and i tell you man right now respect is the most important thing to have if your woman doesn't respect you it's a wrap you're done out here you might as well give up that there's, there's no point going forth because she don't respect you and this is why my culture we emphasize on this and that's why it's always been on point because everyone knows their role it's simple as that we keep it simple um and that's why it's very important but when we have now what's happening is that everyone wants to do the opposite everyone wants to go with this role that role and that creates the massive issue that we are facing today in today's society but you have to understand a lot of women have a prostitution mindset so they're gonna especially in the african-american community she's only gonna act what she thinks you is your average black girl can be around a guy talking to him like he's nothing and then find out he's a millionaire she'll change her whole mood up right and then she'll start to submit because their souls are always for sale i keep trying to tell you dudes you got to avoid these women, bro. 100%. You have to avoid black women, light-skinned women at all costs now. They're or generally any woman that has that characteristic traits. And in the Western world, that's a lot of them. Only good for sex, if that. They're not good at building a household, getting behind you, helping you support a business, learning to sacrifice. They're never that. They're all narcissists. It's all about me, 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 me and my kids that I had a baby with, with a guy that I probably don't know or that I really like that didn't want me. They're programmed to being breeders. That's exactly what society want them to be. Breeders who complain. It's just a lot of you guys are so weak. You just keep running back to these type of women, putting them on a pedestal. But when they walk in a room with me, they know to shut the fuck up. What you said there, they know swear word right there but they know what time is essentially and that's it and you know what the biggest point i respect what he said there is the fact that a lot of men are weak and that is so true a lot of men are weak the men i come across constantly the the utter nonsense i always hear right i just think to myself that you really need to educate yourself and it's not even about educating yourself right now it's just that you need to have more faith in yourself and belief and focus on things that are not women that's it, period, because a lot of brothers out here, they're so hungry for the pum pum that they get distracted so much that you're just vulnerable. No woman rates that. You're not on your purpose. You're not a strong man. You're not a warrior. You're not someone that a brother will even respect because all you're thinking about is, ah, oh, I want to run up in her guts. Focus on yourself. Become that successful, strong warrior man and you can run up all of these gals' guts just like that because... That's what happens when that brother's high value man, when you when you become the high value man, all of them crawl for you. That's what ends up happening. But exactly what Anthony said there, when coming to the room, they know what time it is. That's how it should be. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And then go ahead and hit that like button. Okay, today we're going to be talking about why Asian women are going to be winning in 2020. All right? The reasons why Asian women are going to be winning in 2020. My reason, they have their own identity, especially when it comes to looks. You don't see them trying too hard to look like white women. And even if they try to look like another ethnic group, they cannot pull it off. They have their own identity. Even when they do their makeup, they all look the same. They want to look like that enema character. Hey, they can pull it off. Other race of women cannot pull it off. That's one of the reasons. In a more, wait, this, is he saying anime? That's why I think they're going to win this year is because they're going to stand out even more. Secondly, Asian women are very traditional. They're very submissive. Yes. They're the type that's not trying to overpower their man. They're always seeking a masculine man. Just going to point out something there, 100% agree because I'm Asian myself and what ends up happening with Asian women, right? Especially back home, in the home countries, women are, from the get-go, single women specifically, are already trained from the start to be submissive, to be housewives, to um, make sure that their dress size is from two to maximum four. That's it, nothing above that. And if it goes above that, then they're out of the norm. 
they're already trained because again why what does the high value man want he when it comes down to high value man the smaller you are in dress size the more likely you're going to be with the high value man so it's already been um it's already been tr- it's already is that you can call it an academy or something like that, but it's already being trained to asian women that you need to do this and the importance of marriage is so crucial in our culture that it is really really important for the asian woman and if it doesn't go according to, accordingly like that and the woman doesn't get married it's a massive massive issue and that's an asian culture but in other cultures it's different but from my from where i come from it's so important for the woman to be on point with these things because that is what is going to land on the, the husband and again if a man doesn't put a ring to, on, on a woman hub she's she's not relevant in the scene that's how it works and most asian women are going to date outside of their race because they feel like asian men are too feminine for them not all asian men but majority of asian men they mm. feel like it's feminine so they're always seeking a alpha male see another reason why they're going to win is because there's no romance see mm. you can't be a simp with an asian woman romance comes from greek culture which is what western civilization is under but on the eastern side they don't have any romance that's how come you don't see romance in the middle east yeah. you don't see romance in a lot of part of asia it's just not part of their culture those women are used to being behind their man and being submissive to their man they love cleaning the house they love getting a newspaper for their man. They love providing for their man. They love showing their man that they are the best woman that they can be. Majority mm-hmm. of these feminist Asian women that you're going to see are the ones that come to to the states and go to college with 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 white women, go to college with yeah. black women and other groups and then they fall under that ideology. But one thing about the Asian women, she only visits that ideology for a certain little bit of time, but she always goes back to her traditional side because her culture embraces the traditional side. So when you're dealing with an Asian woman, you're less likely to see her trying to overpower you. You're less likely to see her trying to dominate you because it's not part of their culture. Another reason why they're going to win, Asian women are barely fat. They barely get out. They eat healthy. They have a good, healthy diet. This is why you don't see too many fat Asian women. And when you do see them, only black guys like them. You know, they oh man, no one sees an Asian woman with a booty. He's going to like her. But for the most part, most Asian women are short, small, and petite. And they Mm -hmm. really watch what they eat. You're also dealing with a smart woman. You're dealing with women who embrace on intelligence. They embrace on knowledge. So not only if she's smart, she's going to be very, she's going to be very traditional and very submissive. And this is going to start looking good this year as men start to pull away from westernized women. Westernized women have really wore themselves out and Mm -hmm. they're going to spend this year hurting themselves really bad. So Asian women and Middle Eastern women are going to start looking very attractive because you have more of those women who are still traditional, who still want to be a wife, who Mm -hmm. still wants to be submissive, who still only wants a masculine guy. But you're going to see a lot of Asian women this year winning big time. And they're going to win big time, especially with white men, because white men have a higher obsession and they have a higher fetish for Asian women but Asian women also have a high fetish for white men so you're going to see a lot of white men that win when it comes to Asian women but Asian women as a whole this is going to be their year to shine because they're going to be the last of a dying breed right this is Anthony Spade tell me what you think about this this situation in the comment section Hasta la vista. Okay, so that was very interesting what he said, and I do agree with what he said there as well. It's only when you get westernized, you start, your your, your thought process starts getting muddled up and that. But if, when you were back home, you don't have all of this um, social media, you don't have all of these privileges that you have 
when you're in a first world country or in any country that you can have access to mobile phones and stuff like that or if you've got money obviously you can afford it you don't have access to that so the women don't have that back home and that so again that also plays a massive part on to why um, the woman thinks how she thinks but again from my own country and that there's none of that thinking whatsoever again she's completely already there trained to be some she's already trained to be submissive already to be housewife ready to be every single wifely feature that you want to a wife to be meaning that she's not going to be going out on the road and then shaking her bum to 10 man 20 man getting run up in the guts by every single man in the block the corner shot man the flipping dustbin man everyone it's not that's not going to be the case she's going to be submissive but she's only going to be loyal to you give 100 percent to you but again she is going to seek that masculine frame so again because in the asian side as well there's a lot of feminine asian brothers out here fam they ain't cutting the edge so only the the masculine frame asian brothers that have that strong mindset that are on the purpose that are just a warrior like brothers that can just get them watery guts you know what i'm saying get them to have that watery guts those brothers are going to be winning it as well so that's another thing to to really deep but again anthony spade what he's been saying in this and throughout this whole video he's 100 percent right and agree with what he's been saying and in west yes i do believe that caucasian men are gonna they are very they are, they love the asian women as well and them type of Asian women, the one that he's specifically talking about, the Eastern ones, would definitely go with the Caucasian brothers. But then the hijabi one, the Muslim Muslim ones, they're rather, they're gonna be, they rather stay with their own kind, um, because of the religious aspect of things. Again, unless the Caucasian brother turns Muslim, and that that's very unlikely to happen. But again, that's very interesting. What Anthony Spade has got to say but yeah definitely it's very interesting and i love talking about these kind of things and dissecting them but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below how you feel about this as well let's get a discussion going make sure you guys subscribe to my channel give this video a like comment all of that good stuff there'll be more red pill content coming out again and we'll get asian girl to react to more of this content but i will be diving into it myself as i primarily focused this on snapchat but now i will dive into youtube so you guys can see a longer video of these um scenarios and dialects okay um but yeah that's it for me for today's video until i see you guys in the next reaction it's your boy rubo zaman signing out assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh